is Liz. Welcome to my sewing room. Today I'm going to show you how to thread your machine while avoiding some common pitfalls that lead to major frustration. The thing about sewing machines is that every model is a little bit different. That's why it's a good idea to read your manual even if you're a confident sewer. Something as simple as having your spool of thread unwinding in the wrong direction can wreak havoc with your stitches and that's super frustrating. So let's start with the spool. Start by placing your spool on the spool holder so the thread is unwinding in the correct direction. Usually this means that the tail crosses in front of the spool. So like this for a horizontal spool holder or like this for a vertical spool holder. If necessary, cover the top of your spool with a spool cap and continue the threading process by bringing your thread through the thread guide making sure it passes through the upper tension plates and continues through these channels around this horn and this is very important make sure to catch the thread uptake lever before continuing down there's another thread guide on the needle bar it's important to get that one and finally you want to bring it through the eye of the needle and out your presser foot lever. This process is the same for all machines. The tensioning of your upper thread plays an important role in the quality of your stitches. If your spool or your bobbin aren't threaded correctly, you might have a problem sewing later on and that's really frustrating. The most important things to remember are that your spool is unwinding in the correct direction that your thread is under tension and that you've completed the threading process completely and in the correct order. Now that you've threaded your machine, check out the next part in this series to start sewing. If you have any questions, please share them and I'll be happy to find some answers. My name is Liz and that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching.